Ready, play. Ready. Good. All right, early round action here, and the masses have eyes fixed on one George St. Pierre. Takedown figures to be here tonight. I know that is not breaking news to the masses, but St. Pierre talked a lot about his striking and the improvements that he... Oh, there's the double leg takedown. Nice shot there by the champ. St. Pierre's in half guard. All right, full guard here for the top fighter. What are you trying to do? I'm trying to pass to the next position. Get to half guard so I can get my grounded bomb off. Great job finding his shots from the top position. And there it is. Another strike on the ground gets through. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Constantly a moving target. Ref won't help you here. Just as the referee will never take a guy out of bump, they will not take a guy off of your back. You have to get him out of this position. St. Pierre's going for an arm here. Oh, he's got it locked in. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and it showed in that defense. All right, so there it is again. He's been very efficient with his ground and pound striking game tonight. And now they're starting to pile. He's starting to pile them together. Punch after punch, starting to land from the top position. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by the Korean Super Bowl. Trying to recover full guard there. Oh, nice job to split his guard and get the ground strike home again. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Leg kick lands. Going to the body now with that hook. Well placed there by Chor. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. Under three minutes now to go in the round. When both are prepared, these are the types of fights that we expect. Choi's overhand telegraph, though, it gets blocked. Oh, that kick. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. In the tight clinch, look for the knees to start. Nice straight right hand. Oh, double leg leg. Gotta be careful here. Oh! He did a great job of reversing the position using the opening that his opponent gave him to shut him off and get that up. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. In the half guard. Oh, right into Mount. Under 90 seconds to go. This is where he wants to be. Well, he's got his back now. Good work from the top here by George St. Pierre. He's very accurate in the ground and ball, and it's showing because he's landing so consistently. There it is. Now he's on the mount. Well, not a guy you want on top of you. Ground and pound strikes piling up here. Good work by GSP. Under a minute now to go round one. Choi's in half guard. He's working in half guard here, making these shots count. Right there from the bottom, nicely done by the Korean Super Bowl. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back to the this field. This is an educated crowd, J.A. They appreciate high-level grappling, and that's exactly what they got in that exchange. Oh, picture-perfect shot there, D.C., and one more of those, he might be out. 
I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. And what a round! Okay, relax. Deep breath, everybody. Breathe. Refocus. Now, he won that round on the ground. I need you to fight. All right, no Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. For you. Yeah, where's my Telestrator, man? <laughs> I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking, it was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. You ready? You ready? Let's Second go. round underway. All right, here we go with our next round, and we'll see if he can pick up where he left off. Really, every time he threw in that previous round, he was able to win. I mean, it looked like his opponent was just a stationary target. Every time he decided to go, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by St. Pierre. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Well, we told you off the top of the broadcast he could do it all, but he's leaning on the striking tonight and continues to hit his opponent, really, with most of what he's throwing. Well, he can't miss. I mean, it's like the guy's throwing a baseball at the side of the barn. He, everything he throws, he lands, and he's showing that he can do it, and he can do it in abundance. The pace that this young man is fighting at is truly something special. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. He might as well use it. Keeping him honest with the jab. Great timing there. Beat the hips and got the take. -in. All right, he's hanging out inside the closed guard of his opponent here, DC. You got to be careful. Arm triangle attempt here. Nice arm triangle setup. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pinned in the triangle now. The arm triangle is getting very close. What he's got to do now is get to the opposite side. You gotta be kidding me! He's out of position. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Choice has got full mount now. Well, he has expended a lot of energy going for these submissions tonight. I'm not sure his opponent is actually submittable. No, it doesn't seem like it because every time he goes for a submission, he gets close, or at least he expects to get close. But his opponent is so on his game that he's not giving him much to work with. This has been a beautiful display of grappling offensively, but also defensively. St. Pierre's in half goal. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions. Oh, now he's going to find himself in a little more danger. All right, trying to pass here, as Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked, and keeping the full guard. Oh, reverses the position now. Outstanding work on the ground by Choi. Oh, that gilly is tight. He's really working hard for this guillotine, but he can't blow out his arms. He's got to make sure it's secure. Great submission defense on full display by the opponent. Looks like the cut man to my right is starting to get anxious with all the high volume of strikes being landed here. He has really kept his opponent on his heels throughout. He's had him on his heels. He's got him reacting. He's reacting to the feints. He's reacting to the jab. He's reacting to every single thing coming in his direction. He has got to find a way to change the narrative, to change the way that this fight is playing out if he wants an opportunity. But to this point, this boxer has looked amazing. Now he's going full mount. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. Well, St. Pierre's in half guard now. That was nice. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by the Korean Super Bowl. Oh, getting leaky now. The hard ground and pound has opened up a cut. Another ground and pound strike gets home. Choi's back in full mount. Oh. Well, he's on his back, but he's moving his head on the ground pretty well defensively. 
If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move. You got to shrimp. You got to get off on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Oh, when you get in a bad spot on the ground and you want to reverse it, that's what you need to do. Master class in changing position. Unreal to see. 30 seconds to go in round two. All right, feet on the hips here. It's a nice job staying offensive there as he lands a shot from the bottom. Oh, interesting there as he just decides to let him back up. Final seconds here of round two. Another big kick down. All right, so the round is over, but not before damage was done. Cut on the cheek, sustained in that round. Cut man in there quickly as usual to try to seal it up. Get back in there. Let's get back to the game plan. Hands high. Work behind the gym. Ready to fight? Ready. Good. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Dig and kick. Takedown defense is there. Oh, he scored with that uppercut. St. Pierre gets in the clinch. Oh, and he lands another knee there. He has executed that weapon perfectly all night long. He's landed several of them in this round, really starting to do some damage with those knees. Oh, what goes up must come down as he slams him right on the canvas. Huge moment in the round. It excites me to watch somebody land those types of techniques. The impact of that slam takedown was felt at the desk and in the first couple rows. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. Arm triangle inching closer now. Oh, great submission defense. The Korean Superboy gets back up. And he gets another takedown here, just doing a nice job not telegraphing his shot. Clean entries. The Olympian's got to like what he sees. I mean, over and over, he gets to the legs before his opponent reacts. By beating him on the entry, now it's up to the opponent to keep up. But this guy's playing chess. His opponent's playing checkers. He's playing chess. He can't keep up. Once he gets to his legs, he's got to beat him defensively before he gets his hands locked around his legs or his body. Oh, I think he's still compromised. We'll see if he can recover here. He's in a world of trouble. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Lands a beautiful leg kick. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Wild attempt with the right hand there. That's a nice jab by him there. Fighting from your range is so important. Beautiful punch lands again. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. Nice punch by George St. Pierre. Ooh, big shot land. Look to the head there by Choi. All right, so maybe pick it for a ride. Nice double leg. Nice finish. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, good defense. Yes. Oh, that's got to be discouraging as he gets right back up again. Straight punch. Beautiful jab there by the champ. 
Oh, he hurt a belly his head. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. Oh, that's the one. GSP gets tagged by another uppercut. You know he can take some punishment, but he would be wise to get those hands up here. Another kick down land. As usual, suffocating work from the top here by George St. Pierre. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. St. Pierre's body getting all sorts of bruised up on that right side now. And just misses with that big right hand. Sage work here defensively. Double leg takedown, no good. Solid punch from the clinch here. Nice block. Oh, and he continues to pour it on. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Gotta be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Final seconds. Too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got it very bad. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. Get some water and breathe. That was an awesome round, man. You were outworking this guy everywhere, okay? The cardio was great. I told you. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. He threw the flying knee and it landed to the head. Misses again with a right punch. Going after the cut. Oh, the top, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Huge lever change. Make him think he's going low and come right over the top. With that beautiful you need to punch Great punch. St. Pierre's back in half goal. Well, now that cut in the eye area, Daniel, becoming a major storyline. He's got to be careful. He's got to be very careful and address it right now before it gets to the point that there's nothing you can do about it. Good, solid strike on the ground. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it, too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Ron well, St. Pierre's doing a nice job there, raising the guard to protect the eye with that block. You can't allow that cut to get worse as this fight continues. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ following a game plan, and it's working. Big knee lands to the body. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out a lot. A lot easier said than done. When his opponent has the power that he possesses, it's hard for him to say, you know what? I'm going to take one to give one. to the feet now. Look for him to throw that overhand here again. 
Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish the guy. It seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment he can end the night of his opponent. But he seems to be having fun. And hey, to each his own, I guess, I'd be rushing out of that octagon. Yeah, you don't play with your food. No. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV. But every time that area gets targeted, that cup is getting... Oh, that's the biggest shot you've seen this week. How's his opponent still standing? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. Oh! Oh! That'll do it! Do hope joy with a huge win tonight! <laughs> oh, man. So how about that as he pounds him out for the TKO? Prioritize the finish tonight, absolutely gets it with style points. A huge, huge result here in this arena tonight. It's always fun to see an athlete tell you what they're going to do, and then they do it. This guy told us he was going to get a finish, and that's exactly what he did. Him and his team are going to have a fantastic time tonight celebrating. They should all be very proud. We send it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 18 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the Korean Super Bowl, Du Ho Chong. So the Korean Superboy Do Ho Choi with another highlight for the reel tonight. That reel